there's baby Dolly acting just fine. I got away from my tent, which she was acting, because I never heard her issue those warning sounds and peeps and growls till she got to my tent, which apparently she sees as her family's den. And yes, they have their own den where they sleep during the day, but it is not unusual for raccoon mamas to have multiple dens. If a predator moves into an area where one den is, they always have alternate dens where they can go to and they may move all their babies for whatever reason. They never have just one den. So now that we're away from my camp and I was, see I had to move over there because we were getting rain at night and uh, I had to feed them. I was feeding them actually inside of the new shelter because this little one here and baby Dolly have issues chewing. They get kibble, even the tiny bites, and not so much now with the puppy chow, but with even with the little bites, uh, get stuck in the roof of their mouth or between their teeth or something, and they're constantly having to dig it out. So they eat slower. So it takes them three or four minutes to eat one piece of kibble sometimes, they're not having issues right now because I switched to puppy chow because we're getting into cold weather. But they that's why Brutus is so much bigger than his siblings because they had they were struggling with the other dog food. So oh, actually, where's Brutus? There's Brutus over there. So tonight I'm like, well, she's only doing that to keep others away from my tent. So now that they're, we're way over here, away from my tent on the other side of the rocks, she's fine. She's been picking a fight with Sassers for three nights now. She was eating right next to her a minute ago. See how she's digging that out of her teeth? And puppy chow was teeny tiny. Now she's fine. I mean, she does kind of go off a little bit here and there. See, she's over there struggling with a piece of kibble but she humps logs watch she's gonna hump that log it's like she may be in heat and so she's if she's got hormones flying she may be acting just like a mama a new mama with little kits and and uh she can't her little hormones can't distinguish the difference between her family and newborn kits that she needs to protect. I thought that's how she was acting. I mean, it was a little extreme, but I mean, she's a tiny little thing. And so I hope she's not pregnant and in heat already. But I mean, they're gonna develop faster because they're not, they're dewormed. So they're absorbing all their nutrition, whether I give it to them or whether they give it to, uh, this is, they don't get that much food from me. The whole family gets the total of a pound, if that much each night. And then I uh, give, I spread a pound out for all the other ones. They have to, I spread it way out over the entire woodland and that's all they get. They don't need the help because they don't have feeding issues. See, now she's done gone off. She probably went over to get water. She is very thirsty a lot. But anyway, so over here, she's acting perfectly normal. But before we came over here, she ran off and she was doing that peeping way off in the distance. But and now that we're over here, she's just fine. I looked at her face. I'm not seeing any... She's not maintaining eye contact like she normally. See, now she's coming up over the hill. What you doing, baby dolls? Oh, there's another raccoon over there. So she's guarding the perimeter. I've got a whole nother bag of food I'm going to put down closer to the trail, further away from my camp. I'm going to stop this so I can go spread the kibble out and get all the other raccoons away from her so she can focus on eating instead of fighting. <laughs> 